here calorimetry question number 1 an aluminium vessel of mass 0.5 kg contains 0.2 kilograms of water at 20 degree centigrade a block of iron of mass 0.2 kilograms at 100 degree centigrade is gently put into the water find the equilibrium temperature of the mixture given specific heat capacities of aluminium iron and water are 910 joule by kg kelvin 470 joule by kg kelvin and 4200 joule by kg kelvin respectively the question what are the given parameters so first of all aluminium is a vessel inside which one is taken water then iron is heated at 100 degree centigrade that is dropped into the aluminium vessel and find the resultant temperature so here what are the given values first of all aluminium mass of aluminium given 0.5 kilograms and temperature of aluminium 20 degree centigrade and specific heat of aluminium 910 joule by kg kelvin and water mass of water that is given 0.2 kilograms and temperature of water 20 degree centigrade and specific heat of water 4200 joule by kg kelvin and iron mass of iron 0.2 kilograms temperature of iron 100 degree centigrade specific heat of iron 470 joule by kg kelvin but here we want to find the resultant temperature after adding the iron into the aluminium vessel containing the water that resultant temperature must be taken as t that resultant temperature is less than the iron temperature and this must be greater than the aluminium and water aluminium vessel and water now according to principle of calorimetry heat lost by the hot body is equal to heat gained by the cold body which is the hot body among all these ones iron is the hot body and these two are the cold bodies that means aluminium vessel containing water that is the cold body so here first of all according to principle of calorimetry heat lost by hot body means what is that iron is equal to heat gained by cold bodies what are those aluminium and water here aluminium and water now what is the formula we are having q is equal to m s delta t so here quantity of heat q is equal to m s delta t now apply for everything for iron mass of iron into specific heat of iron and rise in temperature that is temperature of iron minus resultant temperature before only i told this resultant temperature must be less than the iron and greater than these two which is equal to heat gained by aluminium first aluminium here mass of aluminium specific heat of aluminium times t resultant temperature minus temperature of aluminium plus now for water mass of water and specific heat of water and resultant temperature minus temperature of water now i will substitute the values here first mass of iron that is 0 0.2 into specific heat of iron that is 470 into temperature of iron that is 100 minus resultant temperature is equal to mass of aluminium that is 0 0.5 into specific heat of aluminium that is 910 times resultant temperature minus 20 plus mass of water that is 0 0.2 into specific heat of water that is 4200 resultant temperature minus temperature of water is 20. Now here in all those ones 0 0 0 cancel. Now here 0 0.2 Remaining here I will write 0 
इंटू फोर्टी सेवन टाइम्स हंड्रेड माइनस टी हियर जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट टू आई विल राइट हियर टू इंटू फोर्टी सेवन इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू नाइंटी वन टी माइनस ट्वेंटी प्लस टू इंटू फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टाइम्स टी माइनस ट्वेंटी Now, two forty-seven are how much here? Ninety-four times hundred minus t is equal to five one zero five four hundred five one zero five four nine zero forty-five four hundred and fifty-five times t minus twenty plus this one two into four twenty eight hundred and forty times t minus twenty. So here ninety four hundred minus ninety four t is equal to t minus twenty as common. Here four hundred and fifty five plus eight hundred and forty. So here nine thousand four hundred minus ninety four t is equal to t minus twenty. Here addition of this one five plus zero five five plus four nine eight plus four twelve twelve ninety five. Now here nine thousand four hundred minus ninety four t is equal to twelve ninety five t minus twelve ninety five into twenty. Here all t one side that is one. Two nine five t plus ninety four t is equal to nine thousand four hundred plus two five zero ten two nine zero eighteen plus one nine and two two zero four plus one five here and again zero two five nine double zero. So here addition of this one four plus five nine nine plus nine eighteen. Three one three eight nine t is equal to here this one addition to this one zero and again zero three five three so here one three eight nine t is equal to three five three double zero here I want to find the resultant temperature three five three double zero divided by One three eight nine on division of this one twenty five point four one degree centigrade but nearly twenty five degree centigrade. This is the solution for question number one.